Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the restraint basement retaining wall module that has been recently added to the foundation and retaining wall calculators. Let's take a look. As you can see, this still is in the beta phase. Before we go ahead with the tutorial, let's take a look at the references and the assumptions. We are using the IBC 2021, ASCE 7-16 and ACI 318-19. For the assumptions, they are very similar to the cantilever retaining wall. However, we've added the first point here that we are not checking for overturning because we are assuming that overturning is fully prevented by the restraints, uh, which uh, could be your floor diaphragm. Now let's take a look at the calculator itself. The first thing you're going to see is your key dimensions. Um, now you can enter your wall height and your restraint height. Uh, let me change my wall height to some uh, 10. This automatically changes your restraint height, but you're allowed to change this to however number you'd like. Uh, I'm going to say that this is going to be at 9 feet. Um, remember that if I enter something like 12, you're going to get an error. If you take a look at that error, it says that the restraint height must be within the height of the retaining wall which makes sense because you can't have your restraint over your uh, wall height. I'm going to change that back to 9. Similar to the cantilever retaining wall, you can change your wall thickness, length of toe, length of heel, and thickness of footing. After you're done with your key dimensions, you can scroll down and change your surcharge. You can add surcharge loads. You can change your soil properties, uh, base soil properties, now, what is important though, uh, is that in this stem wall reinforcement, uh, we have added this uh, conditions, the reinforcement placement. This basically tells you where and how you'd want to place your uh, reinforcement in your stem wall. Due to the fact that we are uh, now restrained, we may have negative moments, uh, negative moments available at our stem wall. So, what ends up happening is that you, uh, we need to know how you want us to handle that problem if you have a negative moment. As you can see, we, in the error, we say negative moments are present. Only two-faced uh, and center rebar are supported by this condition. Therefore, if you go to these conditions, you can uh, select uh, if you want to have one row and center or one row at each face. I'm going to uh, select one row at center. Also, we have only, uh, for this calculator, we only have your footing reinforcements, which are going to be your bottom bars. You can change these as well um, uh, to however you'd like uh, and to, to based on your project needs. If you scroll up, you can see the summary section. Uh, we have the stability summary, the stem summary, and your footing summary, which uh, you can look check the moment capacity and your shear capacity. Another thing that we have added for this calculator is your stem load diagrams. Here you can see your stem of wall and how it's being restrained. Um, just keep in mind though that this is the height of your stem wall. What you enter here is your wall height, which includes the height of your footing, the, the thickness of your footing, which in, now we are at 12 inches, which is one foot. So the thickness, uh, so the height of your stem wall is going to be nine feet, which is what you can see here. Therefore, your restraint height is going to be at eight. If you scroll down, you can also see your moment diagram and your shear diagram, as well as your FBD diagram. That's all I had for the basement retaining wall. Uh, please let me know if you have any further questions or any feedback for us. Uh, make sure to send it to uh, help at clearcalcs.com. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day. Bye-bye.